Okay. I was like, I'm so sick of you. Play with him. Well, welcome. I am on our Christmas set here with JoJo and Kelsey. So on the DJ and Lindsay team, we um, pride ourselves on streamlining every single aspect of the real estate transaction. So with that, we've listed 400, over 450 homes this year in 2021. And that is because we have a listing team. Ooh. So um, Kelsey to my immediate left, JoJo on her uh, left. So Kelsey is our listing coordinator. And then JoJo is our photographer. Now our head photographer since we have two others. Well, one and a half. So um, Kelsey, you joined us when? I joined in August of 2020. Right. So when August 2020, we were just beginning our large commercial buyer program uh, as we were also like ramping up our listing side. JoJo, you also started. Yeah, I started uh, like 10 days before Kelsey. What do you got? Is that a microphone? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I started. <laughs> yeah. I started. Okay. I started. Um, a like two weeks before Kelsey in August 2020. Right. And before I was, I, as we were training, shooting all these homes, I was also doing a lot of our other content creation. So I remember one of the first projects I sent you on, I said, hey, I need you to capture San Marco, Atlantic Beach. Mm -hmm. What else? Did I send you anywhere else? Um, Beachside, San Marco, downtown, basically anywhere yeah, that would. capturing and you just hopped in the car. You're like, this is great. And then. <laughs> that was the, my first day. Yeah. The faucet turned on and it was just all. Chaos. Chaos. For a year. It's chaos. So let's talk about when a an agent comes to us. Hey, I just locked down a listing appointment. Um, I just got the listing agreement signed. Like kind of walk us through just like how we streamline the process for these agents. Yeah, so um, we first have them schedule photos. We make it easy. We have a link. We just share it with them. Um, they go in. They put in their live date, all the information that we need. That gets sent to both of us. So that's kind of like our trigger to start the process of, you know, listing home. Um, put in the calendar. And then from there, it's just photos and getting all the information in and then eventually right. live. Now, so that will send – that triggers Joe to go out to the property – you think you have any good stories about like homes you've showed up to that have just been absolute definitely peaches? I don't know if we should share some of them, but <laughs> yeah, for sure. Some are, you know, perfect and ready to go. And then others, I mean, I'm not really sure if they knew I was coming, but <laughs> right. recently, I mean, we're trying to always improve our process and always, you know, getting communicating with the agents and the sellers to make sure that the home is properly prepared for when we get there. But in the past, before, you know, our process was seamless there was yeah i have some stories yeah some good ones yeah well, why don't you think about those and as we come up in a little bit we're gonna i'm gonna have you probably tell one of those all right but um let's get into how crazy do you think the market is right now where we've seen some of these homes where they were being purchased at whatever the price point was with one a commercial buyer to being relisted was that kind of like insight for you where you're like at some point this is going to have to flip on its head or this is going to kind of come to a halt. Like, did you kind of have those thoughts too? Or were you kind of just like, whatever, I'm just doing my thing. A little bit of both. I mean, with the commercial buyer, it's just been, you'd see some crazy price points that they were purchasing these, purchasing these homes for and then reselling them. And we were all like, how is this happening? Are buyers going to buy these houses at that price right. in the condition that they're in? Um, but ultimately at the time, they were right um i think things personally i think things have started to slow down and people are starting to recognize that these prices are really high um but yeah yeah and that program has since stopped yeah so now that, that program stopped which is obvious that was right. gonna happen but <laughs> since it stopped our listings have also just exploded so yes. now we are seeing this seller influx. so how many homes do you think in the past we'll call it two weeks do you think you've been to to shoot I would say 20 to 30. Uh, November was kind of just insane because right. our partnership ended with Zillow. So they're like, you know, uh, list your home with the DJ Lindsay team. And then out of nowhere, it was like 10 shoots, 12 shoots a week. Um, it yeah, was just like this like wave. Again. Yeah. Yeah. It was insane. The busiest uh, it's been since I started. For yeah. Sure. I think August was probably our busiest month ever. And November kind of rivaled that. November was yeah. pretty close. October, yeah. November. And then now I think because of the holiday, it's kind of just like 
a little bit of a lull. But right. it's, I think it's just going to pick up again Yeah, I think soon. the spring market's really going to be bananas. So right. now, Kelsey, you're originally from Virginia, but this is not your first step into real estate because right. your parents are very involved in real estate. Let's yeah. Hear about, let's hear about that. Yeah, so I kind of grew, a, grew up in the real estate world. Um, I watched my mom. Um, she went through being an admin for a long time. And then finally someone was like, why aren't you selling? So she kind of got that push she needed and she became an agent and she's a super, super successful agent in her area. Um, and then she's now dabbling into investing and now they own a bunch of investment properties in the Outer Banks. And um, it's just been cool to kind of grow up with that. And that's really what's established my love for real estate and just homes in general. Like I remember when I was little, we would like lay in bed and we would just be in the MLS like looking through photos <laughs> and it's just the, the funniest memory. Um, but yeah, that's definitely how I got into right. my love of like home design and real estate. Right. Now, does she, is she as excited as you are to be like that she, her daughter is now in real estate or is that kind of just like, a, oh my gosh, my daughter's in real estate. She's oh, her hair out. oh, yeah. No, she yeah, loves it. She loves it. She's like, if she had it her way, she would make me move back to Virginia and run her business with her. But not going to happen. Yeah. Virginia's too cold. <laughs> too cold. <laughs> too cold. And Joe, actually, you're not unfamiliar with architectural design because your degree is in architectural photography and photography from UNF. Right. So when you came in for an interview, showed me some of your prints, which were the only person that showed up with prints, um, not the musician, prints, uh, photo prints, but <laughs> <laughs> um they were incredible. Like, I mean, just like the lines and just, you know, some of the kind of like the stoic buildings you were capturing. And it's wild because you actually weren't even using the proper lens. But the way you captured it through your vision made not only did the photo work, it was beautiful. And I kept some of them. I immediately like ran Thanks. home and I was like, these are incredible. I like, remember you were like, can I hold on to these? And I was like, yeah. And then I got home and... Kyle was like, you just gave him your <laughs> prints. He's like, well, what if I was like, oh, my gosh, what if I don't get hired? And then this guy has my prints and I didn't even I was like, oh, gosh. But I was like, no, I, for the I, best anyway. Yeah. And I think I had called you that afternoon. Yep. Yeah. I remember you screaming, running around the house because I couldn't stand still. And I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. You're like, okay, chill. Yeah. I remember you told me you, you muted the phone and you were, sp you were yeah, screaming. Yeah, I was like, couldn't. Screaming because, as you know, I can talk ears off a deaf man, but right. you're screaming, screaming, screaming. True. And then, you're, and then I, and now that I think about it, it's like I hear, would kind of hear it go like pretty silent. And it's like, yep, I like forgot yep. to put you back off. I like, yep. <laughs> okay. That's fine. <laughs> like, I didn't want to like sound like toggling crazy. it off of mute. You're like, okay. Uh... Yeah, spectacular. <laughs> um, and now you're originally from Jupiter, Florida, too, which we have a brokerage office down there, too. Right. So we'll be obviously looking to increase our footprint down there. Um, have you spoken with any leadership or DJ about like, hey, like, let me head down there? Mm. I haven't. But now that we have another photographer, it is something that I was thinking about, you know, doing. I have a place to stay if I ever needed to, you know, shoot a home there and I could just you know, go and then we wouldn't have to outsource. So I have been thinking about that actually. Right. And the so price point, I think up. down in South Florida is slightly different than the yeah. price point we yeah, have here. Definitely. Yeah. Even for the same size. Home. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. We, uh, so I was talking to somebody the other day and they're talking about how for even the past, I think it was like three or so years now, St. John's County in this area is like the most moved to County, which is crazy because the price point is still okay yeah. right it's not like insane mm -hmm. although it is climbing i mean have you seen what would you say the i don't even know if you can get into percentage what the increase has been on just like an average three to two thousand square foot home like let's say it was two hundred and fifty thousand dollars now are you seeing it's approaching that 300 mark or could be depending on like the amenities it does have pool home right yeah, I think it definitely depends on the amenities and the upgrades in the home. But I mean, St. John's is definitely a really great area and I think it's highly desirable. So I can I would expect it to go up. So this is kind of funny. And I was thinking about this two days ago is when we would get a pool home that would come on the market. Just insane. Like, I mean, I think it was like it would go like, first of all, we do a huge pre-marketing thing in our industry and in because we can't do coming soons right but we figured out a way to do a coming soons in pre-market to we're not going to disclose that but we figured out a way how to do that <laughs> so when we would have these pool homes i just like half the time it was just like okay how quickly can you get a picture of this pool 
just on the MLS or in the hands of some of our buyers because yeah. it's just an absolute feeding frenzy. Right. It was insane. I remember we did one of, I think it was actually our first open house, right? It was like our first yeah. open house. I remember yeah. that. It was a pool home in St. John's County uh, over by World Golf Village. And it, it had offers on it before. We're like, all right, let's not do anything. Let's just do an open house. Like, Let's try and build the hype. And it was just like word of mouth. It was just like, oh, yeah, like Brett's listing a pool home. And it was just like, boop, boop, right. boop, 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 boop. And offers were just like right. blowing up Brett's phone. He was just like, yo, it's not even on the MLS. Yeah. Yet. Like, what are, you, what, are you, what are you doing? That was yeah. insane. So now it's looking towards 2022. What are some goals that you guys have set out? Because I know we obviously were all together for a big kind of mm -hmm. like offsite OKR. What are some of those goals that you guys have going into 2022? We have a goal of hitting a thousand listings next year. Okay. Um, we will be at around 200 this year, not including um, our commercial buyer. Mm -hmm. So just all of our in-house listings are about a two about 200. So we're gonna try to hit a thousand. Um, we have a lot of goals to put more processes in place, just kind of making everything a little bit better. Um, right. So I, I, I think we can do it for sure. How yeah. many homes is that a week? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's probably about 20 homes yeah, 20. a That's week. 20 homes a week. So I think at least the past two weeks, we're like right there. We we're in halfway. Like, yeah. yeah. In between like 30 and 40 over the past two weeks. Mm -hmm. So kind of kind of on pace going into yeah. it. We and just... I know that there are some new programs coming out that we won't discuss but that will just really yeah. take over. It's going to get crazy. And you, it's funny. So not that you're a part of my team because Joe's technically a part of my team, but right. you work so closely with us that you even have like a little bit of a marketing niche that you, you've fallen in love with. What, yeah. what, what is, what is like your big play here? Like, what do you, what do you want to do when it comes to listing and marketing or listings? What would you like to do? What would you like to see? I just want to get our name out there. Like, I just, I mean, more than it already is. Mm -hmm, um, right. I would love to just do like a big like EDDM campaign and just get it out there. And, right. Um, I just, I don't know. So digital has its footprint and has its pathway. Yeah. But sometimes there is a way of reaching the customer kind of like in that old school, just like one to one. Yeah. And it works. Um, I think there's a lot of different opinions and it's, it's not cheap to do things mm -hmm. like that. So it's going to take money, but it's... I, I've seen it personally in, in companies that I've worked for that it works really well. And um, I'd love to just create a big old farm. Right. So this is interesting. So you input essentially all of these listings into the MLS. Yeah. So you see JoJo's work very closely. Yeah. How do you think it fares <laughs> to some of the other stuff we've seen on the Internet? <laughs> um, <laughs> there's some bad pictures out there. It's pretty wild. The one you sent the other day, and I think we'll have Matt maybe flash on the screen. <laughs> Um, someone's thumb. It was just a thumb. <laughs> it, was just, it was a straight up listen photo of just someone's thumb. Yeah. Like, great, great yeah. bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. There's some crazy pictures out there. It, it it's really baffling. Cause I'm like, how did you think you would sell this house with photos like this? I mean, so yeah. yeah no, Joe, Joe's pictures are awesome, and I feel like they just keep getting better and better. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of confidence does that give you that you just show up like one eye open, not even looking, just like and still well, take better photos? <laughs> definitely come a long way. You know, I'm always trying to improve. Right. You know, the process, my process. We can all get better in one way or another. But um, it is nice to have you know a great support system of you guys and the team. Just you know, encouraging me and saying this looks great, but also giving me, you know, constructive criticism. But now I could just go in a house, you know, depending on the house, 30 to 45 minutes, I'm in and out. So mm -hmm. that'll be great for when we do get more listings, we can kind of probably add more time slots for photos now that right. there's a quicker process. And yeah. you now have a protege yourself. You are now yes. training. Yeah. Julie's, she's awesome. She's great. She's clicking. She's eager to learn. And I love that. Yeah. So that's excellent. I think she'll be great. You shared it. with us. And again, Maybe we'll flash on the screen. It was a beautiful, absolutely beautiful photo of this dining room and just dead middle of the frame on top of one of these high back chairs. Mm -hmm. A cat. A cat. <laughs> it worked, though. Like, normally I'd be like, Psst, like, yeah. like, get out, get yeah. out. But he was just looking at me and he was just like, I'm the model. And I was like, OK, whatever. I'll just take, take a picture and then move the cat and take another picture. But I ended up keeping the cat and the seller actually reached out and was like, these are great. Like loved that. And I was like, cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's been plenty of times because we know there's, you never know who's going to be buying this home. So right, whether it's right. an allergy thing, a personal preference, which I don't trust people who don't like dogs, but it's fine. But 
Right. We're always trying to like, you know, shoot properly or rope those things off and get rid of them, which is like right. sad in a way, because that's like also a part of the character of the home is that like, you know, there's like this actual other living person yeah. in it that like belongs with it, but not really. Um, so we're going to try and list a thousand homes. Yes. yes. Are you prepared for that? Are you? Yeah. You're prepared to do a thousand homes. We are ready. We took on so much last year. Yes. We could do anything at this point. That is true. Like it hit us like a bulldozer. So I don't think we yeah. can't do anything at this point. Right. All right. What else would you like to see implemented? Do you think if you could be like, I would love to do this. What, what, would, what would it be? Other than take a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really, I mean, both of us really want to get into million dollar listings. Yeah. That's like a goal, uh, you know, long term goal. But I would love to be shooting, you know, these massive, beautiful houses on the water. And um, I mean, I think eventually we'll definitely get there. I think your work could hold a yeah. candle to any of those. Like, I think you've not only have it come along because I remember. <laughs> Thanks, we, Todd. Talked, we talked about this. Your first couple shoots, like we're, we were back and forth on like me. She's like, hey, I would do this, do this, do this. Right. But once it kind of like you were like a sponge and it just like clicked, click, click. You, Kelsey, obviously fell in love. Now we're in a thruple because we all work together. <laughs> we all work together. But we work we're so great. closely, especially right. Yeah. right? Kat, Reagan, Matt, like mm -hmm. Rich. We all work so closely together that it's we almost have to work as this like machine of like, Hey, like look how beautiful this photo is. You throw it to her. She throws it on social media. Yeah. Right. Like it's, it's all this, it's just this working machine that we're constantly trying to grow and move right. and evolve. And, uh, and it really wouldn't, wouldn't happen without either the two of you. And I'm sure agents, I know I more than love and appreciate you guys. I'm sure the agents are too, because I mean, what we pretty much just like get the listing agreement signed and then push the it over to it us. Right. Yeah. Um, any Christmas list uh, ideas right now? Um, okay. Go. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, before we close out, do you have any just absolutely wild stories that you could throw off off the top of your head? Sure. All right. What do you got? Um, so I walked into this house that was supposed to be properly prepared. They all are. I'm all expecting it. But there was just one week of just crazy. Like they just weren't ready. And I walked into this house and instantly just, you know, smelled like animal and she had six chihuahuas just like <laughs> running at my feet and she's like, they're friendly. I'm like, okay, well I'm, you know, I'm trying to get in and out. I don't want to waste any time do right. like handling your dogs. And I kid you not, they start like peeing and pooping right in front of me and how awkward for me to be like, right. ma'am, ma right. you're, <laughs> your dog's pooping and she's like oh my god as if like it was the first time ever and <laughs> right. then they started peeing and I'm just like at this point I'm like okay I'm just less is more I'm gonna do you know that's 10 you photos the, that's when you go to the picture of the thumb and put it right on <laughs> right I'm like okay <laughs> let me just yeah it yeah. was awful um it ended up selling because all of our houses sell <laughs> right that's <laughs> but true. More. it's just more. weird yeah weird more. things like that um yeah. I remember the one house uh, this was just at least off the top of my head, you go in, it's like a ranch. It's a little bit west of here. So it's not that shocking that it had like a country or a vibe. Okay. And the one bedroom was not only did it have like just packed with stuff, there were just like multiple guns just like on the wall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, that was like, south. It, but, but it, and west. Yeah. yeah. In and the I middle just, of nowhere. That was one of my first listings that was like really far and really like I was like, um, I'm going to keep you on speakerphone the whole time. Yeah. But there was because, no one there either. Right. It was va it, vacant, so to speak. I had to go home, to yeah. his house, which was across the street, through this fence, knock on his door. He opened the door where he's like, oh, sorry, I'm giving my dog a bath, but you can come in and sit on the couch. And I'm like, uh, OK. And his dog's just like wet in his hands and he's like all wet. And I'm just like, OK, I'll just, you know, sit on the couch. I'm scared. Um, and he's like, yeah, all right, I'll let you in now. And I'm like, you could have just gave me the key. Right. He walks me over there and it just, you know, wasn't properly prepared. There were guns all over the place. And I was just like, well, I might not come back, you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been point. so much fun working with you guys. Right. But this might be it for me. No, weird things like that happen, but I feel like I'm pretty composed to handle, you know, any weird situation like that and make it quick. Right. <laughs> Well, again, we absolutely love and appreciate you guys. Um, Vice versa. Yeah, our listing team and our company would honestly not have, you know, grown the way it did without the two of you. So thank you. No, Jelsey. Jelsey. Jelsey, Jelsey, which was my um, vote for the Be Kind Award. Aww. 
I voted for Jelsey. Everyone's going to be like, who's that? Jelsey Cannies. Oh, that is so nice. (laughs) Hopefully we'll win because we are kind. (laughs) Cut that out. (laughs) Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, thank you both. Love you both. And uh, we'll see you guys in 2022. Thank Thank you. you.